Okay, so what can we do with these theorems? Well, I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you asked. Let's have a look at the following um, problem, which could be, it could be from fluid flow, and you're asked to calculate the flux of this vector field over the square with corners at these points here, where the unit normal n hat is outward pointing. Okay, now you won't find this in your notes. This is a special example just, just for coming to this lecture today. All right. So, by definition, the flux of F over, say, um, the square. It's just the following integral. Okay, so let's um, let's denote the boundary of the square by um, curly C. Okay, now there's a bit of a problem with this one, or it's a bit annoying actually. Um, we also learnt that this that this representation was um, reasonable as well. I guess I should say that we're on a closed curve here. Okay, when you see this little O here, it means that we're integrating around a closed curve. Right? Now, you could do this example using this particular line integral, but what you would have to do is parameterize the four sides of your square. And you get four line integrals, four calculations. What Gauss's divergence theorem allows you to do is forget about that and simplify things quite nicely. Okay, let me show you. So um, let's say, I'm going to call that by I, right? Okay, so let's, let's draw our, our square in. Okay. So we have something like this. You can see it's a simple, simple region, simple closed curve. So what we're going to do here is just integrate. We're going to calculate the divergence of f and then work out the double integral. So if this is our, our vector field, what's the divergence of this going to be? 1. Okay, so... I probably didn't need that, but anyway. <laughs> so, what's our what's our answer? Well, remember that the, the oh sorry, this is this has got length two, right? So this is just the area of D, right? Who said 16? <laughs> All right, so it may, look, it may look easy when I do it, but that's a massive saving in time. Being 
quite cunning and strategic in, in the choice of methods that you use, in the choice of theorems, can help you a lot. It can save you a lot of time. Okay? Here we appeal to Gauss's divergence theorem. Okay? It's great. It's great. It is very powerful. And we're going to see Gauss's divergence theorem in higher dimensions as well. Okay? And that is, it, that's just, it's magnificent. It's one of the, the, the crowning achievements of vector calculus. You may be looking that, at that and going, well, I'm not very impressed. Trust me, when you do the calculations, you will be.